An Ohio sports coach and mother of four has been sentenced to 15 days jail for having sex with a 17-year-old boy at her school student. Martina Stanley, 35, admittedly having an affair. It's not an affair. How often do they use female teachers with students? They're having it. It's not an affair. Affair is like between adults, okay? With the teen while she was coaching cross-country track at Eglin High School in Marion County. The defense argued that the boy who attended school but wasn't a student at Stanley's initiate, initiated the sex and wasn't harmed. So he wasn't... He was a student, but not at her school. Okay. In a sentencing memorandum, defense attorney Todd Anderson said the teen bragged about sex with his friends, as happens. The victim joked about the incident, then interview, interviewed and stated that he was fine and she was every schoolboy's dream, Anderson said, according to 10TV.com. Now, the legality of her having sex with a student in another school Specifically, I'm not sure about that legality, but he's, or the, but he's 17 and she's 35, I believe it was. Anyway, this is not to shift blame, but he was very aggressively pursuing Miss Stanley to escalate the uh, That doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Look, uh, if it's a 34-year-old guy and and there's a girl and she's not of age, it doesn't matter what she throw what he what she throws at him. It doesn't matter. You can't you can't take it. It's just the way it is. Rules are rules. But in the court Monday, Stanley apologized to her victim and claimed responsibility for actions. I'd like to say, what can you just wait a year? He's almost 18, just can you not wait a year? Anyway, I'd like to say with all my heart and as humbly as I possibly can that I'm sorry. She said, okay. I take this very seriously. This has been the hardest part of my life. I've had to deal with this because it rests on my shoulders and I accept that. Yeah, she's lost her, her job. Now she's a, you know, she's a registered uh, child offender. Stanley was first charged with sexual battery. However, she pleaded guilty to a lesser felony of attempted gross sexual imposition. Okay. And laws in different states and places are dramatically different. So we'll see. I mean, I, I, if he was a student at her school, I'm sure it would I would assume it would be tougher. But anyway. She was sentenced to 15 days in jail and one year probation. She also had to register as a sex offender and was ordered not to have unsupervised contact with underage boys. Anderson had argued that Stanley charged should be a misdemeanor rather than a felony because she knew the boy as a neighbor and not as a student. However, the judge decided she had still taken advantage of the teen. Right? There's, there's ages. I mean, that's, that's, that, that, that's. Why can't you wait? There's, all, there's over 300 million Americans for crying out loud. They're not all under the age of uh, below 18. I mean. I don't know. It's it's ridiculous, and of course it's it's uh, and most of the most of them are of course they're married, they've got kids, and they don't care. So I feel zero sympathy for them. Just wait till they're adults. All right, that made Steve's outrageous news. It kind of pissed me off. <laughs> Until next time, take care.